the fridge. See, it, it, it's, it's le- yo, hey, yo, Diddy told me how to party. Diddy taught me how. JD gave me the J- listen. JD and Snoop coached me and gave me the game, but it was Diddy who taught me the lifestyle aspect of the game. There's no party every year. Dude had the he had the fed, and you feel it. It's like a hole. It's like damn, we we ain't going. He was just such a gatekeeper for him. The the, the liquor in the the clubs, the 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 mo- like he was everything hip hop. Here we go again. Bow Wow is diving deep into the drama with Diddy, and this time he's not holding back. He's armed with receipts, and it's evident that this is more than just gossip. It's deeply personal. He's not just sharing stories. He's revealing how Diddy and Jermaine Dupri manipulated him as a kid, pushing him into situations that no child should ever have to face. This isn't just about the wild parties. It's about the emotional scars that Diddy and Dupri left behind, reopening wounds that Bo Wow thought were long healed. Now, it seems that the trauma is finally catching up with him. The ongoing scandal involving Diddy has triggered memories. Bo Wow tried to bury deep down, and those close to him are genuinely concerned for his mental health. Fans are beginning to speculate whether he's experiencing a very public breakdown. If you've been following his recent interviews, especially that eye-opening chat on Roxy Davis's More to the Story podcast, you can see why. His nostalgic remarks about missing Diddy's parties reveal something much darker than mere fondness for the past, leading fans to wonder, is Bo Wow finally ready to unearth the truth about what really went down behind the scenes? Let's face it, Bo Wow's journey in the music industry started way too young. By six, Snoop Dogg had already taken him under his wing, presenting him as the next big thing in hip hop. It seemed like a dream come true, but we all know how the story goes for child stars. Whether it's Justin Bieber or Orlando Brown, growing up in the spotlight can have devastating consequences. For Bo Wow, things turned ominous when Jermaine Dupri entered his life. And let's not forget, Dupri's reputation isn't exactly spotless. He's been surrounded by whispers for years. Think back to Chris Mac Daddy Kelly from Criss Cross. His tragic death in 2013 was cloaked in rumors of past traumas, with fans speculating that Dupree might have played a role. What's chilling is Dupree's almost nonchalant attitude when discussing Chris's death in interviews, leading fans to question if he tried to sweep some things under the rug, especially after it was revealed that Chris had once sued him. Now, looking at Bo Wow, it seems he too carries the weight of some haunting experiences from his time with Dupree. There was that viral video of a former security guard spilling tea about a young Bo Wow being preyed upon in a nightclub. Things got really unsettling there. And when you realize that Jermaine wasn't just a bystander, but actively introduced Bo Wow to that risky lifestyle, it makes you shudder. On top of that, there are rumors about a male bodyguard allegedly assaulting Bo Wow in Dupree's limo, though Bo Wow has denied it. But if you catch his body language in interviews where he's asked about it directly, it tells a different story. And let's not forget his ex, Eric Amina, who hinted at the baggage Bo Wow carries from his past traumas. She didn't sugarcoat it, suggesting that his emotional struggles and anger stem from experiences he's never fully confronted. But it doesn't stop there. There's chatter that Diddy and Jermaine teamed up to introduce Bo Wow to a darker lifestyle, not just the glitz and glam of parties, but something much more sinister. Bow Wow himself has alluded to the fact that Diddy was the one who taught him how to party. Sound familiar? Usher has talked about being pulled into that same adult lifestyle at a disturbingly young age by Diddy during his infamous Puffy Flavor Camp. What's wild is the complicated relationship Bo Wow still has with Jermaine Dupri. One moment he's throwing shade, hinting that he might spill the beans on some shady dealings, and the next, he's singing Dupree's praises like nothing ever happened. This emotional roller coaster leaves fans puzzled, wondering what's really going on behind the scenes. Is Bo Wow still wrestling with unresolved trauma, torn between exposing the truth and clinging to the only father figure relationship he's ever known? The tumultuous dynamics Bo Wow has faced throughout his career suggest a deeper struggle within him. 
His back-and-forth relationship with Germain seems to mirror his quest for loyalty, validation, and the burden of past trauma. One minute he's praising Dupree, calling him a father figure, and the next, he's alluding to darker secrets that could mar that image. It's like watching someone navigate a treacherous emotional landscape. Recently, Bo Wow's cryptic social media posts and candid interviews paint a picture of a man caught between the weight of his past and a yearning for a brighter future. It feels like he's not just trying to heal, but also to redefine his identity in an industry that often strips young artists of their agency. His mixed feelings toward Dupree and Diddy, who played significant roles in shaping his early career, indicate a struggle between gratitude and resentment. The resurfacing of Bo Wow's troubling past has opened a Pandora's box, inviting speculation about the toll the music industry takes on its young stars. This isn't just Bo Wow's story. It resonates with countless artists who faced exploitation and trauma hidden behind the glamour. Each tale adds depth to the narrative surrounding figures like Diddy and Dupree, raising questions about their roles in perpetuating a culture that prioritizes profit over the well-being of young talents. Moreover, Bo Wow's ongoing mental health battles, exacerbated by the Diddy scandal, highlight a critical issue. The lack of support for artists grappling with their pasts in a harsh industry. As he opens up about his experiences, it seems he's not just seeking personal redemption, but justice. Not only for himself, but also for others who may still feel silenced by their traumas. How many more artists are trapped in a cycle of pain, haunted by experiences they believe they'll never escape? The recent allegations have ignited discussions about accountability in the music world. With Bow Wow potentially cooperating with authorities, fans are left wondering just how far he's willing to go in his pursuit of justice. Could his bravery in speaking out inspire others to find their voices, or will it lead him into further isolation? As we follow Bo Wow's journey, it's clear that conversations about mental health and the exploitation of young artists are more vital now than ever. His story serves as a reminder that beyond the headlines and fame, there are real people wrestling with their histories. It's a narrative that demands to be heard, not just for Bo Wow, but for everyone who has ever felt voiceless against overwhelming odds. By shining a light on these issues, we can hopefully create a space for healing and transformation fostering an environment where young artists can flourish without the weight of past traumas dragging them down. As this narrative unravels, Bo Wow stands at a critical crossroads. Each new detail about his past serves not only as a reminder of his struggles, but also as a call to action for an industry that has often turned a blind eye to the pain of its young stars. The haunting echoes of his experiences reverberate through the music scene raising vital questions about the ethical responsibilities of those at the top. In the shadows of fame, where glittering lights often obscure darker truths, Bo Wow's journey is emblematic of a larger issue. For years, artists like him have grappled with the trauma inflicted by an industry that prioritizes success over safety. The fear of retaliation often silences them, trapping them in a cycle of suffering but Bo Wow seems determined to break that cycle. His willingness to confront the past might just inspire a wave of honesty among his peers, challenging the status quo and urging others to share their stories. And as whispers about Bo Wow's potential collaboration with authorities even circulate, the stakes are undeniably high. The industry is watching closely and the ripple effect of his courage could be monumental. What if his actions lead to a broader reckoning for other artists, forcing the industry to reevaluate its practices? Could this spark a movement towards accountability and healing, giving voice to those who have suffered in silence? Yet, with every step forward, Bo Wow faces a unique set of challenges. The emotional toll of revisiting painful memories can be overwhelming. Fans have observed his fluctuating demeanor, moments of vulnerability shadowed by flashes of anger and frustration. The delicate balance between seeking justice and navigating personal healing is no easy feat. It's clear that the journey to recovery isn't linear. It's a winding path filled with setbacks and breakthroughs. Moreover, as Bo Wow continues to unpack his experiences, 
He risks alienating those who have been pillars in his life, like Germaine Dupri. The conflicting feelings he holds for Dupri are palpable. He oscillates between gratitude for mentorship and anger for what he perceives as betrayal. This internal struggle is further complicated by the public's expectations and scrutiny. Fans and critics alike are eager to see where his loyalties lie, creating an almost unbearable pressure on Bo Wow to navigate his relationships with care. With each new interview and social media post, he peels back the layers of his emotional armor, allowing glimpses of vulnerability that resonate deeply with his audience. Bo Wow's journey becomes a mirror reflecting the struggles faced by many artists in the industry. The duality of fame, where adoration from fans contrasts sharply with personal trauma, becomes more evident, serving as a poignant reminder of the human cost of success. As he continues to engage with his audience, there's a palpable sense of urgency in his narrative. Bo Wow is not merely telling his story. He's igniting a conversation about mental health, trauma, and the long-lasting effects of exploitation. In doing so, he's shifting the focus from his own pain to a collective call for change. He challenges not only the industry's players, but also fans to confront the uncomfortable realities that exist behind the glitzy facade. In this unfolding drama, Bo Wow's story becomes a testament to resilience. It serves as a beacon of hope for others who may be silently battling their demons, encouraging them to find their voices. His willingness to share his experiences is a powerful reminder that healing often begins with truth-telling. Each step he takes toward honesty not only brings him closer to personal liberation, but also paves the way for others to do the same. As we watch this saga unfold, the anticipation is palpable. Will Bo Wow emerge from this turmoil not just as a survivor, but as a catalyst for change? The industry is undoubtedly at a tipping point, and his journey could play a pivotal role in reshaping how we understand and support young artists. The conversation is far from over. It's just beginning. And as Bo Wow navigates these uncharted waters, he may very well redefine not just his legacy, but the future of countless others who find themselves in similar situations, longing for healing and justice. As this saga continues to unfold, fans and critics alike will be watching closely, hoping Bo Wow finds the peace he desperately seeks, and that the industry begins to hold its most powerful figures accountable for the impact they have on the lives of young artists. Whatever the outcome, Bo Wow's story is adding layers to the already complicated allegations surrounding Diddy and others in the industry. And it's forcing people to question just how deep this rabbit hole goes. How many other young men have been silenced, carrying scars they've never had the courage or the opportunity to discuss? As more details emerge, one thing is abundantly clear. This isn't just a Hollywood scandal, it's a reckoning. And whether Bo Wow is ready or not, he's right in the thick of it.